Hi, in this video, I will give a, a brief overview of floating point representations or floating point numbers uh, in the standard form. When you look at a floating point expressed in binary, it has three components to it, a sign, an exponent, and a fraction. Ideally, if your number is an n-bit number, in general, there'll be one bit for the sign, and e-bits, let's say, that have the exponent, and f-bits, let's say, that have the fraction. Obviously, in this case, n equals 1 plus e plus f. Uh, we will take specific examples of this. So one example I will do uh, in this simple video is where uh, n is equal to 10, uh, e equals 4. So that makes f implies that f is equal to 5. Uh, the scientific format, scientific format, the IEEE format, the IEEE standard uh, for 32-bit numbers has n equals 32 e equals 8 which makes f equal to 23 so so an n bit number um, that is in scientific format there's if you when you look at one uh, you can answer what it represents by first looking at the exponent if you look at the exponent and if the exponent is say is all zeros If it's all zeros um, then we it falls under the category of what we call as denormalized if on the other, other hand the exponent is all is all ones then it's it has two possibilities and we'll look at both of them in just a second but now we look at the fraction so we look at the fraction and the fraction can be either zero or the fraction can be non-zero if the fraction is zero we look at the sign and if the sign is equal to zero then we, re we say that this represents plus infinity if the sign is my one when we say that it represents minus infinity and if the fraction is zero no matter what it is we say that it represents a not a number so in the specific case of our our 10-bit number an example would be if i had a number like zero one 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 so all exponent bits of one and the fraction bits are all zeros that's five zeros then this would be the representation for that here it will be zero it will be the same thing except with one followed by four ones which is my exponent and then five zeros whereas here it'll look something like this it'll be uh, uh, it, it, it'll be uh, there's several possibilities but the first bit can be either zero or one doesn't matter the next bit are all ones four ones and this is some thing that is not equal to zero something that is not equal to zero which means there's at least one bit here that's a that's a one now if i go back and look at the other possibility the third possibility here is what is the most common possibility which is what all their most numbers fall and these numbers are when exponent is lies between it, either of these possibilities I will say exponent is otherwise by otherwise we mean that it is not this or this um, and in in our specific case of an 8 bit uh, uh, 10 bit number uh, these are all exponents from 0 0 0 1 to 1 1 1 0 that's the range of exponents that it can be for the specific case of the 10 bit number uh, but these represent what we call as normalized 
Now, the simple answer as to how you interp interpret these is as follows. Uh, if it is a normalized number, uh, we represent it as minus 1 to the power of s, which is, it could be a positive number of negative number, and this minus 1 to the power of s will be minus 1 to the power of 0, in which case it's a positive number, minus 1 to the power of 1, in which case it will be a negative number, times 1 dot fraction times 2 to the, we express this as whatever the exponent is, I'm going to write this exponent in short, I'll call that exponent, minus a bias. And the bias, as a side note, the bias is no matter what, whether we go here or here, it applies to, bias applies to this and to this, and we'll see what it means. The bias is simply given by a formula that says bias is 2 to the power of e minus 1 minus 1 where e is the number of bits in the exponent so for the specific case of n equals 10 then the bias in with n equals 10 is 2 to the e 2 to the e minus 1 in this case that's 2 to the 4 minus 1 minus 1 that is 2 to the 3 minus 1 which is equal to 7 in the case of the IEEE format the bias is a 2 to the 8 minus 1 minus 1, which is 2 to the 7 minus 1, which is 127. So, similarly, the denormalized number represent, the denormalized numbers represent minus 1 to the power of s times 0 point fraction, whatever your fraction is, times 2 to the minus of the bias minus 1 so that's the rule so let's let's take an example of these two for the 10 bit number so let's say i have a number that looks like this there's a 1 followed by 0 0 0 0 because it has to have all zeros otherwise it's not a normalized number in the exponent and let's say i have a 1 0 0 0 1 and here's an example of a normalized number let's say it has a 0 as its uh, sign and then it has a 1 0 uh, 0 1 as its exponent and it has a 1 0 0 0 1 similar to this as its as its fraction so the way I would interpret this guy is I would say it's minus 1 to the power of 0 which is a positive number times 1 point 1 0 0 0 1 which is that number times 2 to the exponent this exponent represents the number 9 so it's 9 minus the bias which is 7 so that's 2 to the 2 so in other words that's 1.10001 times 2 to the 2 which is a 4 which if I apply to this it will be 110.001 and if I were to convert that this is in binary so if I were to convert it in into decimal that's 110 is a 6 and 0, 0, 001 is this is one half, one fourth, one one eighth, so that's six point uh, one two five because that's one eighth. So if I did the same thing here, this would be a minus one to the power of one, which makes it a negative number, times zero point one zero 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 one times two to the minus bias is seven in for for this scenario so that's 7 minus 1 so that's minus 6 that's 7 minus 1 with a minus in front so this comes out to be a minus of um, that's a 2 to the minus 1 plus minus 1 that's 1 2 3 4 5 2 to the minus 5 times 2 to the minus 6 if you plug it in into your calculator you'll get a value of minus of 0 0.0083008 so in essence what we are saying is a floating point number when represented by a computer can represent all these possible scenarios and the reason why we have this this possibility is so that we can express denormalized numbers for us will express small fractions 
small fractions. These represent the extremes and the error cases. And this represent as the normal, such as uh, other numbers, most common numbers, most other numbers. So if I were to view a, a scenario of this, uh, we will see the, the, the number line look like this. This is my minus infinity. This is my plus infinity. This is my zero. And there will be numbers here between some small point where all these numbers will be denormalized numbers. And the numbers in this region and this region will together be normalized numbers. That's it.